Well, I got some bad news when it comes to Nvidia and AMD. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Atlas VPN. If you don't have a VPN yet, now is the perfect time because with Atlas VPN, you can protect yourself online for just $1.39 per month. And believe me, you're not going to find a deal like this anywhere else. By using Atlas VPN, you're not only protecting yourself from online hackers and criminals, but also internet providers and advertisers who can steal and sell your data. Not only that, but Atlas VPN also stops ads and malware, and it even notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. Plus, with its super fast speeds and the ability to protect unlimited devices, online security will become a breeze. So what are you waiting for? Go click the link in the description below and get the best VPN deal on the market. So AMD and Nvidia just had their CES events and they released just a ton of stuff. I mean, looking at AMD, they released everything from Ryzen 6000 Mobile all the way to Zen 3D and they even talked about some new GPUs and on Nvidia's side, of course they did all kinds of talking about autonomous vehicles which nobody wants to hear about but they keep cramming down our throats, but they did also release quite a few things, including the RTX 3050 as well as the RTX 3090 Ti. However, when it comes to these two companies, there were definitely two different products that I think a lot of people were very excited about. And yes, they did talk about them. And while they did release a ton of exciting stuff, unfortunately, when it comes to these two products, they really didn't say a whole lot. And there were some disappointing things that we learned about them, especially when you take a look at AMD. So first, let's start off with AMD. And I think we can all agree that Zen 3D was probably going to be the most hyped thing that they were going to be showing at their event. Of course, people are always going to be hyped about graphics cards, but I think we all knew that Zen 3D was coming. They were going to talk about it during this event. And, you know, aside from maybe Zen 4, this was definitely something that me and many other people were looking forward to quite a bit. And we were actually expecting AMD to reveal multiple different variants of the Zen 3D processors. Now, real quick, if you don't know, Zen 3D is just a refinement on Zen 3 where they add a bunch of 3D vCache to the CPUs, bringing, for example, the 5800X to the 5800X 3D, uh, bringing it from 32 megabytes of cache, I believe, to 96 megabytes of cache. So a massive increase, and this is going to improve their performance. And in AMD's own words, apparently it improves performance when compared to the 5950X in terms of gaming on average by 15%. And honestly, AMD usually isn't too far off the mark. Maybe they were showing you some best case scenarios, but I wouldn't be too surprised if it was at least 10% faster than a 5950X on average. So a lot of people were quite excited about that because if you're on the AM4 platform, well, it's an easy upgrade. And if you can get like a 5950X, 5800X, and 5900X, all these different CPUs with 3D vCache and maybe even a 5600X upgrade, well, that would be awesome for Zen owners because yeah, you got just yet again another year of upgrades. Well, unfortunately, guys, it looks like that's not gonna be the case because the 5800 x 3D appears to be the only processor that's going to be on Zen 3D. Now, there is a possibility that maybe they will end up rolling out other CPUs, but from everything that I've seen online, it looks like the 5800X 3D is the only one you're getting. So if you're someone with a six core processor and you don't really want to move up to eight cores, well, too bad for you. You want a 12 core? Again, too bad for you. You want 16 cores? Yeah, it looks like that's not gonna be happening. Again, maybe they will do something like this, but right now, it looks like that's all you're getting, and that's just really unfortunate, because here we had a scenario where we thought AMD would be retaking, you know, the whole performance crown once again, and while they might technically be doing that with the 5800X 3D, that's only one product, and that leaves a lot of people out uh, with just no upgrade option whatsoever, whereas Intel has a lot of various different products at different price points that are already fast faster than Ryzen 5000. So unfortunately, if you are someone who's looking to only spend a little bit, or you want a lot more multi-core performance, but you still want really good gaming performance better than Ryzen 5000, it looks like you're either gonna have to stick with Ryzen 5000 with something like the 5950X, or go with something like a 12900K or 12900KS, which Intel recently announced during their CES event as well. And that's really unfortunate because I was hoping there would be more competition from AMD, as it only drives these companies to push each other even further. Now, that being said, even though that is disappointing, we are apparently getting Zen 4 by the end of 2022, which is really good to hear. So hopefully AMD can really bring it with Zen 4 because they've been making some really great strides when it comes to their Ryzen processors. And I am expecting big things out of a full new lineup coming out from AMD. But now we got to talk about Nvidia as well, because yeah, their event, you know what? It just really wasn't too great overall. And the worst part about it was unfortunately the RTX 3090. 
1090 Ti because we really didn't get any information about this GPU whatsoever. They basically just said, hey, here's our new flagship GPU. They showed it on screen for a second and that was pretty much it. Honestly, their laptop stuff was a little bit more interesting because they actually talked about it, but with the RTX 3090 Ti, yeah, we got nothing. So if you're someone who's, you know, waiting for an RTX 3090 Ti, yes, based on the leaks, you pretty much know what it is. It's the full die of the RTX 3090, and they did inform us, they confirmed that yes, it is going to have, you know, higher clock speed GDDR6X, and it is going to result in higher memory bandwidth, but that's pretty much all we know. I think they just didn't want to mention the power draw or the price because they knew people really wouldn't like it. And I think we all know it's going to be at least $1,500 and at least 400 to 450 watts of power draw, just bare minimum. And yeah, that doesn't really sound too good. And honestly, I'm a little bit worried that this card could be $2,000 plus considering that they didn't even want to tell us the price during their stream. Now, at some point, they're going to have to tell us some sort of a price unless they decide to go the same route of just not announcing an MSRP. But I think that would be a big mistake. So yeah, hopefully at some point we learn the price, but unfortunately, yeah, if you're looking forward to the RTX 3090 Ti, we have no idea the price or release date of this card whatsoever, and we still don't have official information on all the specs either. So yeah, that's definitely unfortunate to see. Uh, there was a lot of really cool stuff that did happen at CES. I did live stream the event, so if you're not subscribed and you're watching right now, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any further live streams I do on these events. Additionally, I will be going to CES physically to check out some stuff, so keep your eye on your feed as there will be some shorts incoming about various different products that I'll be taking a look at when I'm at CES and make sure you're subscribed for that as well. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up. Unfortunately, the two biggest things we were looking forward to were a little bit of a disappointment, but overall, I do think that especially AMD did a really good job on their CES in 2022. But hey, that's just what I think. Who do you think had the best CES in 2022? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.